What up, SNM Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean and your girl Mel. All right, welcome, SNM Squad. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, have you having a rough day? Let's try to turn around. Good energy plus some good content. Most so, awesome. my lovely wife, what do we have today, babe? What is this? All right, today we'll be reacting to migrants caught breaching border. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. You mean to tell me that? I see about five to six officers trying to stop about at least four or five hundred people. Looks pretty scary. What is going on? Looks very scary. Who fault is this? Who's at fault? Who's That's responsible for this? All right, guys. So before we get into it, smash that like button, turn on all notifications. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Wow. This morning, tensions escalating on the Texas border. Dramatic new video shows a struggle between Border Patrol and migrants in El Paso. The video shows dozens of migrants pulling aside a razor wire fence, then pushing their wow. way past a handful of Border Patrol agents. The migrants were eventually stopped a short time later by a steel fence, where border agents and Texas DPS contained the situation and processed the four to 600 migrants. Governor Greg Abbott posting on social media that after the incident, law enforcement quickly regained control and are redoubling the razor wire barriers, while urging Texas DPS to arrest those involved for criminal trespass and destruction of property. Earlier this week, video captured in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, shows migrants placing blankets over a similar barbed wire fence to protect themselves as they pass through. This all comes as the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals heard arguments this week about the controversial Texas bill SB4. The bill would allow local authorities in Texas to arrest migrants suspected of crossing illegally and empower state judges to order deportations back to Mexico. The Supreme Court allowed the bill to go into effect for hours on Tuesday, only for the law to be paused again upon appeal. The circuit court wow. judges appearing skeptical. This is the first time it seems to me that uh, a state has claimed that they have the right to remove illegal aliens. States outside of Texas are also feeling pressure to get involved at the border. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro says he won't send National Guard troops to the border, despite calls from his Republican-led legislature. The last thing in the world I'm going to do is put the brave women and men of the Pennsylvania National Guard's lives at risk to be part of some political squabble at the border. The officials tell NBC News wow. that the type of incident that occurred in El Paso is rare at the border. CBP emphasizing that individuals who are here without a legal basis to remain in the U.S. are subject to deportation and would not be allowed to reapply for admission for at least five years. And as for wow. that new law, it remains on hold. No word yet on when we might expect a ruling. Craig? Priscilla Thompson for us there in Texas. Priscilla, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or. All right. Um, there it is. As we can see, the border is still not protected. Goodness gracious. Bob wire. OK, you throw a blanket over a crossover. I'm in. Um, deportation is a must. And I just feel like if that wall was up, it's no getting over that wall. No, there isn't. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I have a heart for, you know, the people of Mexico wanting to be free from the cartel and everything that's going on with their government. I get it. I have a heart for it. But also, I'm afraid that America is turning into a third world country. Well, I look at it like this. Like, a, we can't just have people coming over here. It's a, it's a right way illegally. to do it, and it's a wrong way to do it. Most definitely. I see it being the wrong way. You can't just bum rush and just come yeah, over. You, you have, have to have, to have your paperwork. For, because even us, we have... 
if we want a home, if we want anything in this country, we have to show documentation. Yes. It isn't called favoritism. Those are the rules put it's in the place rules. for all of us. That's why they were put in place. That's just like, you know, if a if an officer get behind me right now, you know, pull me over. Yes, it's for our First safety. thing they're going to ask for is my license and registration. Here Most you go. Definitely. I have my paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want, whatever the case may be. Here, I can, you know. Yes. I have my That's paperwork. That's the beauty of America. That's what makes America great. Our freedom, our safety. You know, I I really do pray. It, it seems like it's being destroyed. I pray for the each day. women, men, and children in Mexico that are struggling or whatever they, you know, whatever's going on over there. But for them to just to come over, you know, just freely, it's not right. It's not right. Is it? It isn't safe for any of us. It's not right. It isn't safe for any of us. You know what I'm saying? Because where they gonna live? Where they gonna get their money from? Um, what, you know how they how they gonna get their food? So now that's coming out of the Americans, some way yeah. somehow. Most definitely. It's coming out of out of out of your pocket, out of your home, whatever the case may be. I mean, there <clears> are laws <throat> everywhere you go. I we can't just walk over and cross no into way. Mexico. When we go into Mexico, we, we gotta love, have our passports. We love Mexico, but gotta, they ask us for our passports. You gotta have your passports. And if we don't have our passports, we're not able to get into Mexico. And guess what? Mexico if you go over there for and a you reason, lose your passport, you can't just come back home. No, you Most gotta have no. You gotta get that paperwork. Take a walk in. And don't lose that passport. Home. Like it, you know, you know, if that's the world pass. was like that, and everyone, we were just all just free to do what we want, and we can walk on over wherever we wanted to. Oh my goodness! You know, United States got to be more. They got to be more sturdy. The world. We got to be more we concrete. Need rules, the rules, you know. And the rules apply to everyone. Protect us all. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, this just shows us that it's just out of control. You know. Um, definitely. I don't know of the solution, but we need one fast. I mean, Jesus has rules. We can't just break into heaven. Some of us, you know. Right. We can't you know just walk up in the pearly gates of heaven. You cannot do that. Like, seriously. That won't work. Like, imagine me trying to get into heaven now. If we, if I want to go anywhere and break in, I'm trying to break into heaven. Right. And imagine me coming, trying to get through no. the pearly gate. You're not just walking to the pearly gates like that. You got to answer. You got, you got some things that you got to answer to. Jesus taught us that. <laughs> you got to have your paperwork. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's fair. That is fair. But right now, it's just too dangerous for Americans to just have people crossing over, you know what I'm saying? Just coming on over. Yeah. Like it's a free party. Come on over, party. We're going to well, turn definitely. up. Hey, let's go. Let's go. No. No. And if that's your no. job, you have to take accountability for that job. Absolutely. And you have to let us know what you plan on doing. You can't Absolutely. just be shell shocked. Like, and in this a frenzy is, and don't, you know, have the the response <clears throat> for what the American people want to know. This is a big we question. We want to know how does Kamala... Like, what are you going to do what, about what the border? plans for border control? Because we're scared. What are you going to do about the border? Yeah, I mean, we pray every day and we know God will protect us. Exactly. But God wants us also to have common sense. Right. So, I mean, we want to know, Miss Harris... Mrs. Harris. You can abide by the rule or you can break the rule. No, her name is Miss Harris. Harris is her father's last name. I'm sorry. Yeah. Miss Harris. Miss Harris. We would um, like to know. <laughs> you know, we're not I, this is this is this is the in conversation. Her ability, in Harris's ability to protect the border. That is what I mean. And and, and it's like she don't always dances right, around that question. Don't we have the right to question her? We do, as as the, as American, as American citizens, citizens we mean, have the right to know, um, you know, what's going to be people, the outcome. You know, I see what's, the what is your solution? They're like make, trying to make us feel bad about wanting to be safe. How was that? Want our borders to be safe? Wanting our borders to be safe, like guys. 
Everybody want to be safe. We're not promoting anyone. We That's just, just like our questions. home. You know, we got a lock on our door. The front door is locked and the back door is locked. You can't just come in. You have to be invited in. You know what I'm saying? You can't just come in and just start sleeping and eating up our stuff in our home. No. Yeah. You can't do that. No, it's not going to work. You can't. <sighs> so this is, you know, this is where we at right now today. We have less than 10, 11 days to figure this out. And people are like, you know, like in the middle. They don't know exactly what to do. And I can understand those people. Because yeah, there because are good and bad things on both sides. It is. It really is. But my number one thing is, like, I want to feel protected. I want to feel safe. Safety. You have to be, you know, safe to do your job. Most definitely. You know, that's like if you're working around with chemicals, the first thing they're going to tell you to do we is, you know, know, put your glasses on, what? put your chemical suit on. Be safe, yes, and we, then you can do your job. We want to know the plan on protecting the borders, and not just you she know. She said there's something about fifteen hundred officers, or something, 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 something. She yes. want to put it, in the, but I only seen six people trying to stop four hundred people. Do the math. Most definitely. Where are these fifteen hundred? <laughs> you know, police border control. Where are they? We just seen a clip that clearly shows us we have no control over the border. Can you imagine other countries watching the news? Laughing. Watching what's going on. They're, they're laughing. That really puts us at a greater risk. They're laughing. Immigrants coming over here. So we're not only at the risk of immigrants, gangs and everything. Yeah, it's like polluting America. But the enemy outside, people who, you know... Are watching from they other are watching countries. and they're saying they're probably laughing like oh my god if they can do this anybody can do it let's take over these people don't have no weapons no nothing they just putting their hands up and then they rushing with no weapons and we have no control that is sad that is very sad puts me at puts a really bad taste in my mouth like you know, like, wow, I can't believe like Americans someone, came to this point. It's like someone trying to give you advice or think they're over top of you, but they can't handle their own, what's going on in their own home. Mm. Fix yourself first before you can fix someone else. Go ahead, baby. Preach Check it. yourself. Go, okay? girl. Go, girl. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hell to the air, baby. We got to fix this. It's under... The Americans to fix this. And some it's of under these our control. Are very scary. It's like they're just voting based on who they like and who they don't like. Right. But they're not asking the questions and they're not holding people accountable. And really, let's just be honest. This is a tough job. And at first, I'm, I'm like, you know, I don't think Kamala can handle this job. I don't think that she can handle this. This is going to be she too much has pressure. Less than two weeks to convince this America is going to be too that she much is the pressure woman on her. for this job. Okay. If she is sixty, and if she make it into office, when she comes out, she might look like she about ninety. That's just my opinion. Like she's going to be can't get no sleep, restless nights, questions that she can't answer, too much pressure. Yeah, that's a lot. It's that's out of control. Be a lot of pressure on her. You know what I'm saying? It's like she's trying to do this and do that. It's like the job is not. <sighs> that will be a lot of pressure for her. The job might not be for her. It, seriously. It's almost like a rookie. I feel sad for her. You know what I mean? Honest, Putting a rookie a into the seat. On, on her. It's going to be a lot. And it's. You can tell when she's under pressure, you know. She's trying to hold her own, but I feel bad for her. Back to Donald Trump. Spot. Donald Trump, I think that he's he won it. Oh, he wants this. Yeah, I don't. Oh, he got his chest poked out, and he, he means what he say, and he say what he mean, and, you know, he got a lot of people behind him. I get it, and I understand. Everybody want to feel safe. Um, and, you know, everybody got their right to vote. On whoever they want to vote for. Most I get definitely. that. I respect that. 
but we need a true leader and we need a leader for the constitution we need a leader for the american people and at the end of the day i don't judge anyone for having their own point of view even if it doesn't you know coincide with mine exactly that's the reason why everyone goes to their poll they go in by themselves and they they vote and that's the end of it so there it is but um come on now let's get this border together let's get it together let's get it together please guys please please for all the people in america let's just get the border together because everything else i think that we might can manage manage but people coming over is just just out of control you have to have control of we gotta have control you know you have to we have to if the government loses control then Mm. where does that put the people Mm. it's sad it is really sad you know but hey in 11 days we will know who's gonna be our chief and commander and who's up for the job and who the people voted for and they say the race is really tight i get that but it's it 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 can only be one winner it can't be two winners it can only be one so if someone win by hair it is what it is all right guys that's our um it's our time definitely praying for america you know god please bless the united states of america and we need to stop going against each other yeah it's too much to be right it's it, too it much division. Stupid. Especially with the race card. It looks really Oh, if stupid. I'm black, I'm supposed to no vote for black. No one wins when everyone is feuding. Just respect other people's opinions and why they feel the way that they feel. I mean, I can understand all the opinions on both sides. Because. Yeah. And then it's like, they no make it seem. No clean on either side. They really make it seem like it's up to the blacks and the Hispanics to vote. It's the race baiting that it, I don't like. Know. I don't. I don't. I just don't get that. People are people, no matter what skin color you have. See, it's let's <laughs> use this race, get them to vote, and make them think that yeah. you know they're important. And then when we get into these offices, ignore the hell out of them. Yep, and then try to go get all the black, you know, entertainers, and you know, want them to speak up, and they're not going to change our mind. People have their own thoughts. People can see what's going on in this world. People want to see change. People want hope. People want a future for their family and their children and their great grandchildren, whatever. You know, we need hope. Turn the page. Definitely. Turn to get a whole new book. Do something. Yeah. Please and do it now because we need to see. We're all tired. Yeah, we are, we are As fed you can up. see, people are tired of race baiting. People are fed this up. This is a different election. It is. People are waking up. This is not like, you know, in 92. People are 90, losing hope. 96. It's, it's not like that. You can't bait someone in because of a skin color anymore. That's not going to work. Like, do something else. It's not going to work. Try it's not something work. else. Try a different formula. Yes, absolutely. And maybe you'll capture the American people. Right. But... And please make sense. Make it make sense. Please make sense. Please. Please give us some type of sense of hope. Most definitely. And to know that whatever you say, you're going to do it. And you're not just saying it to get our vote. But you're really going to do it for the American people. Yes. You're really going to hear our voices. Most definitely. And anyone with platforms, big platforms, I, you know, I get it. They want to speak out. And, um, you know, get the people to vote for whoever they want to vote for. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, people should have their own opinion. That's true. Stop trying to bully. Stop trying to go get, um, the you know, black leaders or black entertainers to get us to change our minds or, or, or whatever the case may be. We're tired of that. We're tired of the... Because you those black, black entertainers... You for me. Remember that? Yeah. You ain't black unless you vote for me. We're tired of it. That's bull crap. You're not stupid. Black people are very smart. That's bullcrap. Because those black entertainers, the big black entertainers that's, that's, that's living this good life, it's different for people that's in the hood and in, the, in these communities. It's so different. 
They don't eat the same food. They don't we speak eat. for us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't it's see different. them in the communities. Well, I can honestly say Tyler Perry, he's different. I like Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler Perry. He did a lot for people. He has done for the a black lot people. for the black he did. community. He really did. He ha he truly has. He built homes for people. He gave people a, a whole bunch of jobs. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, but Tyler Perry can't speak for the people that's going through the everyday struggle. He's not struggling. He's a billionaire. So his life is not going to be out like like our life. It's not. It's just going to be a big difference. Well, he has struggled. Well, he has struggled, but he he ain't struggling right now. I mean, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm what I'm what I'm basically trying to say is, you know, we got to hear the voice of the people that's struggling, that's having everyday problems. The people. He's not going to have that yes. many problems. Let the people stand up. Yeah. Because one thing the that I can honestly say that Trump has done, he has let people speak. The people. I forgot her name, but her name is Michaela, Michaela. Is it Hutchinson or something yeah, like that. I know that. exactly what you're talking about. She's the people. She's working at Chick fil A. Like, yeah, the I mean, everyday American. We don't want to hear from. The people that are living in, what is it called? Calabasas. Calabasas. <laughs> they can't relate to the everyday American. <laughs> you know Get some saying? everyday Americans on there to yeah. speak for you and then we'll listen. Get the people that's living from paycheck to paycheck. Most definitely. Not the people that's giving out paychecks because they got a different <laughs> point of view. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're trying to Not make ends meet. the people who go home to Calabasas. <laughs> right. They have a butler, a maid. You know what I'm saying? And, and a chef. Big, beautiful home that don't have to struggle. That's not worried about the, you know what I'm saying, taxes. <laughs> Black people they in this community, we looking forward to filing our taxes to get that big refund. <laughs> you know, that's like a tip for these millionaires. That's a, that's a tip. You know? So, hey, there it is. Yeah. You know, and we're going to keep Stop digging the into baiting. this. <laughs> Stop it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's real. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely real and People fed up and people just want to see a change. Most definitely. That's the bottom line. Yes. You know, don't say what you're going to do. Show us what you're going to do. Yeah. We want to see this. Because people can talk all day. Yes. You know what I'm saying? A lie don't so care true. who tell it. It, 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 it. A lie is a lie. Yes. Talk oh, I'm going to do people. this. Oh, I'm going to do that. Oh, I'm going to guarantee this. I'm going to make sure the first day I'm in office, I'm going to do this. Because it's starting to become like a big old show. Like it's for entertainment. Like hold on. And not for the people, not for the American people, not for the country. Did you just say this but in twenty twenty? Feel like an entertainment show. You just said this in twenty twenty. Now it's twenty twenty four. Yes. Most definitely. Where's the results? We just seen the clip. It's starting to feel like Saturday <laughs> Night Live. Like seriously. Like yeah, like, it's starting to become funny. Like when you yeah, watch like the skits of the presidency on Saturday Night Live, that's how it's seeming in real life. It's starting to become it's like, uh, a joke, a show. Is this scripted? Is this a movie? The like, what, American what's going people on should be worth more than just, you know, a yes. show. Yes. Because at the end of the day, we are the ones that's working, the firefighters, the, the people that work in the hospital, the people that work in schools. The police officers, you know, those are people that, you know, living from check to check. You got to hear from these people. Yeah. Um, and we have definitely experienced yeah. living from check to check. Exactly. You know. You know what I'm saying? I was a correctional officer. You were a truck, a truck driver. driver. And God has blessed so us, you know, to speak from experience. To have this platform. So we just want to use it in the right way. You know, Most so definitely. there it is, guys. Yes. You know, um, go with your heart, I guess. Yes. Whatever your heart is telling you, I don't know. I'm stuck in the middle. Wow. <laughs> I'm stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle. Okay. They should have a song, Stuck in the Middle, because a lot of people are stuck in the middle. They're just tired. <laughs> they like, oh, if I go this way, uh, it might be some trouble. Uh, if I go this way. I know it's going to be trouble. Uh, I don't know which trouble I want. <laughs> yeah. It's not fair.
that's all the time, guys. We are signing off. But please, guys, everyone, please have a blessed day, no matter what. Yeah. You know, let's spread some love throughout the United States. Let's stop with the division. Let's come together as one country. I mean, if we can't do that, then... And it's another thing. This is the last thing I want to say because we have less than 11 days. Whoever gets into that White House, let's respect that. Most let's respect definitely. it. Let's respect and it and worry together. about the next election in 2028. Okay? Let's respect that. You know? Peaceful transfer of power. Yeah. Let's because be cordial. We don't let's go back that. to the incident that happened where right. people were hurt, where people lost their lives. That's not right. We, we can't don't have want that. that. We and can't a lot have of that. people would be going with Trump if that never happened. We don't want no blood. They don't want to. Yeah, we don't, we don't they, want are, that. they are afraid either way. We don't want that. We don't and want no one life that. that's in danger. We don't want that. We don't want that. You know, so there it is, guys. There it is. <sighs> Stuck in the middle. That's our time. We signing off. Here's your boy, Sean. And your girl, Mel. You already know, guys. God All bless right. United States of America. Most we about it. Peace. Peace.